want to show you a very important passage of Scripture in the King James Bible proving that Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. They are the same being. Now, they're different in terms of body and spirit. That's true. But they're the same being. I'm going to show you the proof of that. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 13. And not as Moses, which put a veil over his face, that the children of Israel could not steadfastly look to the end of that which is abolished. But their minds were blinded, for until this day remaineth the same veil untaken away in the reading in the reading of the Old Testament, which the veil is done away in Christ. Okay? Right there you have the name. But even unto this day, when Moses is read, the veil is upon their heart. Nevertheless, when it shall turn to the Lord, the veil shall be taken away. Now the Lord is that spirit. The Lord is that spirit. In context, who is it talking about? It's talking about Christ. Right there. Jesus Christ. I'll show you the proof here that that's what it's saying. In just another minute or two. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. But we all, with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord in Jesus Christ, are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit of the Lord. The Spirit of Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. I think if you're saved, you would, I don't, I don't know many saved people that would argue that fact there. The Spirit that's in Jesus Christ is not a Spirit that's different than the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. So the Holy Spirit is there in Jesus Christ, but that also makes Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit, as far as the being called God. Okay, you understand that? But it says there, the Lord is that Spirit. Very important there, that Spirit. Talking about Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Lord. What does the New King James Version do with this? You get down through here. Veil is taken away in Christ. They have Christ there as well. But then, look down here. Now the Lord is the Spirit. They took that out. So the Lord is the Spirit. Okay, but why did it take out? Why did they take out the word that, identifying it as Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ. The Lord is that Spirit. All right. Let me show you another tie-in with this whole thing. Another bad thing here. We'll go next to. John chapter 14, here in the King James Bible. John chapter 14, verse 16 through 18. Jesus speaking here, he says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Remember the word comforter. That he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. How's that possible? He's talking about himself. And shall be in you. See, how do you know he's talking about himself? Keep reading. Verse 18. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. The Father is going to send you. He will give you another comforter. Right there. Comforter. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Jesus Christ is speaking as the Holy Spirit at that point. Obviously, why would he say, I will not leave you comfortless, I will come to you. They would look and they would say, well, you're already here. If he was just speaking as Jesus Christ. No, the Lord is that Spirit. You see the tie-in here. Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. He's the fullness of the Godhead bodily. There's nothing missing in him. Right? What does the New King James Version say? John chapter 14, sixteen through 18. And I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper. He's no longer the comforter. He's now the helper. All right? Kind of odd. I, I guess comforter is too hard to understand for the modern mind there. That he may abide with you forever. The spirit of truth, just the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you, you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. Huh? I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. The King James Bible says, comforter, comfortless. It ties in. 
here you just get a helper, the helper there, and it's, you know, it's, comforter's too hard to understand, but you get a, a helper that leaves you, that uh, protects you from being an orphan. Uh, pretty ridiculous. Uh, again, showing the superiority of the King James Bible. Um, don't mess with the New King James Version. It's it's not updating anything. It actually confuses the text. Um, stick to the King James Bible.